for a second. But yeah. That's basically what it is. Uh, yeah, cool. So leptin, to give the really simple answer, it's kind of like the master regulator of how much body fat you have. So body fat is basically the same as how much spare energy do we have. And so the more body fat you produce, the more leptin you produce. And leptin basically tells your brain how much of that energy is left. So if you don't have much leptin floating around, your brain knows that we don't have much body fat left. If you have heaps of leptin, brain goes, oh, we must have heaps of body fat, which means we have heaps of spare energy. So the idea is that as you lose body fat, your leptin drops, and then your brain starts to work out that you don't have much spare energy left to survive, basically. And so it will start to kick in all of these downstream adaptations. So it starts to affect all of these other hormones, like your hunger hormones, your satiety hormones, your reproductive hormones, your thyroid signaling. And so that's why there's such a wide variety of effects that occurs. So as your energy availability starts going down, your brain starts to go, well, fuck, I need to get more energy in, and I need to conserve the energy that I do have. Is that because it's used to having those high levels of lipids up? Exactly. Baseline? Exactly. So that's sort of set at a thermostat level where your brain goes, well, I'm used to having this amount of energy. And if I'm getting less energy, then I need to get back to where I was. And it works the opposite direction too. So the problem is we shouldn't have any obese people because the leptin should basically be telling your brain like, hey, we've got plenty of energy around. We don't need to be seeking all of this, all this energy and not moving and all that stuff. And the problem there is that there's leptin resistance. So there is plenty of leptin floating around in the brain, but the receptor's not responding. Same thing that happens in insulin resistance. There's plenty floating around, it's just not responding. So that's when we talk about leptin sensitivity being important. Um, so essentially what we have to do is we have to kind of fight our instincts to reset that leptin system because our instincts are going to be, fuck, we're starving, we're going to die, we're not going to be able to reproduce, whereas we know we're going to be fine in the modern world. Brain doesn't know that. It thinks this is a fight for survival, I need as much energy as I can. So that's essentially what leptin does. And so it's, the responsible, it's sort of the overall hormone that's responsible for all of your feelings of um, hunger and how much you want to move around, how much energy you want to spend training, all that type of stuff.